otherwise a uh, very challenging time. Now, let's talk a little bit about the theme of this event. The theme is define your edge. And we are extremely excited about the prospects of this next decade of networking and of con connectivity, of IoT, and the power that data, not data from data centers or the cloud, but immense amount of data that will now start to be generated at the edge. The edge is where people, devices, things, the digital world and the physical world intersect. And it's ultimately the promise of this new immense amount of data that will unleash a whole host of insights that allow businesses really to deliver new outcomes. And we're excited to deliver uh, a whole series of content and experiences through Atmosphere Digital that will allow you not only to understand better this opportunity, but provide you with a clear roadmap for how yourself and your organization can really define your edge and capitalize on a lot of these emerging opportunities. Now, we've prepared a great set of content. I'm super excited that we have uh, really some compelling uh, uh, guest speakers. Uh, very excited to have Garrett Reisman, a former NASA astronaut and now currently working as part of SpaceX. Uh, obviously, a lot of great and exciting uh, things happening in that, uh, in that domain uh, recently. We're also very excited to have Nicholas Thompson, the editor-in-chief of Wired Magazine. And Nicholas will talk to us about the convergence of really the, of, of human nature ultimately with technology. And specifically, we'll talk a lot about the impact of COVID-19 on technology and vice versa. Uh, we're also going to get into a host of technical breakouts. We have a wealth of uh, demos through our innovation zone and plenty of opportunities for each of you to engage with one another in very live and virtual uh, forums. Now, I'm thrilled to host over 30,000 of you. Atmosphere Digital is truly a global platform uh, and it's something that will not just be one point in time, but actually that we're looking to extend over the future months ahead of us. And so I encourage all of you to bookmark uh, us and make sure that you come back on a regular, uh, uh, with, with regular uh, frequency to check out all the great new content that we have to offer. But most of all, I encourage you to have a little bit of fun. Make sure that you engage with your peers, your colleagues, uh, make sure that you tweet, that you be social, uh, make sure that you provide us your feedback through all the wealth of surveys that we have as you continue through your journey within the platform. Ultimately, we do this to provide you with up-to-date, compelling information that helps to make your job uh, better and more effective. So we always want to hear from you and get feedback from you on how we're doing. Now with that, let's jump into our first keynote presentation. I'm very excited to introduce Kirti Malkoti. Kirti is Aruba's founder and now the president of the Intelligent Edge unit here at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Kirti is gonna to talk to you about our future, our vision, our strategy around all things Edge. And he's also got some exciting new announcements to share with you. So let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, well, actually, hold on just a second. Um, I'm just learning that actually we're not gonna to go to Kirti. Instead, we have a special guest uh, I'm very excited to say uh, James Corden of The Late Late Show on CBS uh, will be joining us. A little bit of an of a unscheduled impromptu uh, interlude. Uh, so James, over to you. Hello, it's me, James Corden. <laughs> I'm not even scheduled to speak to you here today. I just hacked in to demonstrate that your network solutions aren't quite as safe as you thought they were. Maybe next time, you know. Don't lock down your enterprise network with the password, password. I'm kidding, I've no technical knowledge whatsoever. I barely got this message to record right now. Up until 10 minutes ago, you were all gonna have to watch this on a VHS tape, which would have been unfortunate for everybody because I really didn't want to record over my only copy of Top Gun. But that's right, hello, I'm James Corden, and like many of you right now, I'm hiding my drink just over there off camera. If you're not sure who I am, I have my own TV show, which airs at 12.37 a.m. on CBS. It's very popular with people who have just watched Stephen Colbert and can't seem to find the TV remote. Now, I'm speaking to you right now from my garage. Seriously, this is my actual garage, and I've been doing my show from here for the past few weeks. I apologize to anyone who heard that the speaker today would be a late-night television host who spends a lot of time in his garage. I'm not Jay Leno. He was way out of your price range. I really wish I could be there with you in person. I do. All of us meeting face to face, shaking hands, 
coughing on each other. Do you know what? This is good. I think we're good here, actually. The garage is good. But it's so great to be speaking to you today. But now that we're all working from home, technology has become more important than ever. Thanks to tech experts like you, I literally have no excuse to ever miss an email or a video call ever again. Thank you for that. Really? Thank you. I'm especially honoured to be speaking to the enterprise networking industry today. Finally, finally, I get to speak with a group who shares my passion for dynamic segmentation, granular visibility, and analyzing connectivity patterns. You know, seriously, I've no idea what that previous sentence even remotely means. I like how Aruba Networks gathered thousands and thousands of tech experts in one place and were like, you know what? You know what they need to hear? They need to hear from that carpool karaoke guy. He sang with Justin Bieber. Let's get his take on AI-powered re-optimization. I'm told that there will be almost 20,000 viewers of this right now, which is amazing. Like I said, I host a show that airs at 12.37 in the morning and see on CBS. This is technically the largest audience I've ever played to. 20,000 attendees. So if this conference took place in person and we were all together in one place, it would definitely be a cash bar, right? Aruba's not going to pay for all that, are they? Now, of course, when Aruba Networks asked me to get involved, I immediately said yes. I mean, television's dying. I need a solid plan B. So check me out on LinkedIn. I'm proficient in JavaScript, Python, and Ruby. Preferences available upon request. But Aruba Networks is such an amazing company. It's the industry leader in wired, wireless and security network solutions. And let me say, when it comes to saying safe and connected, you want to go with the industry leader. Take it from me. Stands wired, discount networking wireless and solutions and security network network Nevada, solutions. And let me never going to get my business again. If you want more details, read my, read my latest Yelp review. I like when companies say that they offer solutions. We offer solutions. Normal people never talk that way. They're never like, honey, I'm just popping to the grocery store. Do you need me to pick anything up? Yeah, we're almost out of solutions. Maybe just grab half a dozen solutions. But you guys really do do amazing work. Thanks to you, over these last couple of months, we've all had seamless access to bread recipes and the resulting photos on Instagram. And seriously, it's been amazing to watch bread make such a comeback during quarantine. It was almost out the door and Brett just got it back. Aruba Networks is such an impressive company. Aruba Outdoor Access Points provide seamless connectivity for large public venues like parks and parking lots as well as smaller pool areas and loading docks. And I'm really looking forward to the day when I can just get to use those outdoor access points again by hanging out with my friends at the park or a smaller pool area, or my fi favorite place to hang out, the loading dock. Of course, Aruba is a Hewlett Packard Enterprise company, and there are lots of Hewlett Packard Enterprise folks watching this today. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Hewlett Packard Enterprises is the, is the global edge to cloud platform as a service company that helps organizations accelerate outcomes by unlocking value from all of their data everywhere. And that's just something I've always thought to myself. I, I was actually saying that to my kids just last week. Hewlett Packard, like Enterprise, like they like to say that they help people unlock their full potential, you know, like sitting alone talking to no one in your garage. Look at me. I'm at full potential. <laughs> Meanwhile, Aruba Networks likes to say they have solutions for today's, quote, intelligent edge. That was also my favorite Star Trek movie, Star Trek 7, back to the intelligent edge. But Aruba gets it. They know I want integrated experiences. First thing I ask, when another couple invites me and my wife over for a dinner party is, what kind of experience are we talking about here? Because the last thing I want to do is experience different infrastructure from multiple solutions working against each other rather than alongside each other. But I'm excited for you to be attending this amazing conference. Let me be one of the first to welcome you to Atmosphere Digital. Isn't that cool? Atmosphere Digital. Sounds like a DJ in one of the small tents at Coachella. 
By the way, it's ATMD. And I'm still not sure how you get ATMD as an acronym of Atmosphere Digital. But it sounds great on the tongue. Atmod. 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 And here's some exciting news. I'm told this is the first industry event to combine the latest in networking with a focus on the emerging data era known as the Intelligent Edge. And as long as we're listing historic first, this is the first industry event where a speaker has paired a suit jacket, shirt and tie with the same pair of grey sweatpants he's been wearing for the past week. Congratulations everyone, we did it. I do like the term Intelligent Edge. I can really relate to that throughout my entire school career. My teachers always said I was right on the edge of being intelligent. By the way, we don't use the term intelligent edge in Hollywood. You don't need to be very intelligent to come up with the idea of making a fourth and fifth Shrek movie. The digital part of the conference name, of course, refers to the fact that we can't be together in person right now, which is a shame, because I really, really wanted to do a carpool karaoke with John Faust, I did. Nobody sings Streisand like that guy. Even Streisand doesn't sing Streisand like that guy. I'm sure you wish this wasn't a digital conference as well. You know, no matter how good your Wi-Fi, no matter how clear the connection, it's just not the same getting drunk and telling off your supervisor over a video chat. You're also going to learn today how to take advantage of AI and analytics to convert data into new business outcomes. There's the industry lingo, again, right there. Honey, babe, when you're at the store getting those solutions, can you also pick up some new outcomes? Thanks. Yeah, just a bag of diet outcomes. Also, take, adv take advantage of AI. It sounds cool. But if I've learned anything from science fiction movies, we have got to be careful about wanting to take advantage of AI. It does not end well for us humans. Watch any of the Terminator movies it'll tell you. Now at this conference you'll also learn about secure edge to cloud solutions. I like how tech people call it the cloud instead of its real name giant server farm in Utah. <laughs> yeah you're gonna learn about secure edge to giant server farm in Utah solutions but the idea of secure solutions is all new to me. It is. I'm a, I'm a performer. I only know how to feel insecure. But at this conference, you'll also discover how to harness the power of data and automation to navigate today's challenging times. And if you learn how to do that, you'll really be a step ahead of the rest of us who've just been using this whole time to re-watch re Breaking Bad. Now, while you're here, be sure to check out new technologies from Aruba and their sponsors in the innovation zone. But trust me, there's a lot of innovation in there. There is. Don't let the lack of imagination or, dare I say it, innovation in the name itself be a deterrent. By the way, innovation zone is also what I call the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. When I sort of think I've been asleep, but then I wake up, go downstairs and cobble together something out of whatever's left I, I find in the fridge. Also, be sure to visit the Airheads Lounge. That's right, the Airheads Lounge. I've been told that you find that to be a compliment and not an insult, so I'm just going to go with it. I don't know what goes on in the Airheads Lounge, but I do know this. There's got to be a reason they're not calling it the Innovation Zone. But once again, thank you for inviting me to your conference. It truly has been an honor to be here talking to you. I mean that. Now, before I go, I just wanted to take a minute to say this. I've downloaded a PDF this morning and it isn't showing up on my desktop. And I've checked, I've checked the documents folder and it's not in there either. So do I try to download it again? Or is there, do you know what? what? If one of you sticks around offline, we'll talk about it then. Seriously, enjoy your conference and remember this. Aruba Networks has solutions for today's intelligent edge. Intelligent edge. Intelligent edge. Intelligent edge. I just quite enjoy saying intelligent edge. I'm gonna say it a few more times in order just to get the free swag from the Airheads Lounge. Intelligent Edge. Now, if someone could call my wife and tell her to unlock the garage door, that would be great. 
because I've, I've actually been in here for two days and she's not picking up the phone. Babe! Babe! Have you got those solutions? Help me. We live on the edge. Everyone, welcome to the ATM Digital Keynotes. Here's Aruba's president and founder, Kirti Malkoti. Hello, and welcome to Aruba Atmosphere Digital. I am Kirti Melkote, president and founder of Aruba. And uh, normally we would have met in a physical event three times, one in America, one in Europe, and one in Asia. But unfortunately this year we've had to cancel all those events, obviously because of the pandemic. Um, so I hope uh, this reconstituted digital format is something you will enjoy. We've worked hard to get you some exciting new content. And of course, share with you all the innovations that we've been hard at work here at Aruba. Uh, I want to welcome uh, the over 110,000 members of the Airheads community. Many of you are joining us today. I thank you very much for giving us uh, some of your time. And also I want to welcome back and thank all our customers and partners who are also able to join us today. Uh, I have a lot in store for you, but the key theme of this event is define your edge. It is really your opportunity to engage. Uh, we certainly have a lot of engagement formats as we go through the event. So I encourage you to explore different parts of the event and, and really engage and, and learn. Uh, certainly give us the feedback as you always do and really help uh, as we navigate this, uh, this, this crisis together and the pandemic and emerge out as a stronger community, a stronger society, stronger businesses. Um, I think it's really our opportunity to define the new normal and figure out where we go from here. So let's get started. As we um, uh, got into this crisis, it's, it's hard to start any talk these days without really acknowledging the times that we live in. And, uh, you know, two, three months ago when we, uh, when this pandemic started to really go around the globe, um, the first set of calls and initiatives and everything that, that came to me from customers was, how do we keep our businesses operating, even as all of us uh, were working from home? Uh, certainly for, at Aruba, our primary concern was, was immediately for our employee safety. And uh, fortunately, we, were, we, we have the technology with the remote access points to be able to give all our employees that work from home experience as though they were at the work without having to VPN in and so on. And number of you who have taken advantage of our remote APs know what I'm talking about. And uh, I think that, that was the first set of conversations was really business continuity and resiliency uh, across the board. But then off late, the conversations are shifting and they're shifting to reopening the economy and the conversations are shifting to one of business recovery and what the new normal looks like. And uh, that, that is uh, exciting because a lot of interesting new questions being asked as we emerge from the crisis about um, what is the workplace of the future look like? Is it everybody coming back or is it going to be some hybrid version of work from home and the workplace coming together? Uh, similarly, when we do come together in, in not only workplaces, but all the other places that we frequent, whether it's in a store or in a mall or in a hospital or in a stadium or wherever else you go, how do we come together in a safe manner? The idea of contact tracing and figuring out proximity and using location as a, as a very important uh, aspect of the network, how can we apply that to ensure the safety of everyone, even as we come together as economies and societies. I think these are very interesting questions that are being asked, and certainly uh, I will explore some of that as we go through the talk here later. And uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is acknowledge our Airheads Volunteer Corps. This is a, a volunteer uh, group of Airheads that came together in support of the crisis, and uh, we made uh, uh, some of the Aruba kits available to uh, first responders and uh, healthcare providers to enable uh, rapid response to, to the pandemic. And now we have been uh, fortunate enough to serve in over 50 countries uh, with these healthcare kits and supported entirely by the Airheads volunteer, which uh, I really uh, want to uh, sincerely uh, thank you for, for what you have done for uh, your own communities and certainly for the society at large. Now. One thing I, I do want to reflect on is every time it seems that we go through a crisis like this, we emerge out of it with new thoughts, new thinking, and we define a new normal. The last time we went through this was the global financial crisis, which many of you will remember. And the new normal that came out of it, the immediate aftermath was about cost. 
IT budgets were, were smaller and we needed to start to get very creative about how can we stretch our dollars. And at that time, Aruba had this idea of network right sizing. How can we reduce reliance on ports, increase reliance on wireless, and really reduce the use of uh, wired technology at the edge and make it a wireless as a primary access method. And then, of course, right on the heels of that came the mobility explosion. The number of mobile devices, you're probably familiar with the term BYOD, that really uh, has pervaded everything we do in the last decade. And we are living now in the decade of, in the, in the era of mobile and cloud. And of course, uh, technology, it seems, is, has pervaded pretty much everybody. It's no longer confined to the data rooms like it used to when in the mainframe era, or confined to our office computers like it used to be in the client server era. It's now in the hands of every individual on the planet. But I think the new normal as we come out of it is going to be even more pervasive than that, where technology is going to exceed not only the palms of our hands, but really get into all the places and the areas that we live in and that we work in and that we play in. And we call this the edge. And the edge is really about every, the places that we work, the places that we live and the places that we play. And in these places is businesses are applying technology to either improve customer experience and radically change customer experiences or apply technology to improve business efficiency, ultimately to operate better as a business. And uh, we are on the cusp of some exciting new technologies, technologies like Wi-Fi 6, technologies like 5G, edge computing, all of these coming together to enable these in interesting new use cases. But fundamentally, all these use cases are powered by data. And uh, we call this the emergence of the data era. Morgan Stanley has coined the term data era. And the reason is all of these rich experiences and uh, productivity enhancements and operational benef benefits emerge from the collection of new data. And a lot of this new data will be generated at the edge. And this uh, data will be collected and computed on at the edge giving rise to these new experiences and these new operational efficiency. So which is why we call this, we are entering the era of data and the era of the 2020s as we, we see it emerging is about the intelligent edge, it's about the data era. Let's uh, now take a look at what this intelligent edge and the data era are all about. What defines the edge? It's where courage is earned. Big ideas are born. Action happens. The art of possibility is explored. It is at the edge where the physical blends with the digital. An unseen powerful force of data is generated. Harnessed and analyzed in real time. It's at the edge where new technologies emerge, always changing, growing, getting smarter. It's at the edge where personalized connections are made. Lives are improved. New experiences are powered. It's at the edge that devices, people, technology, and infrastructure emerge. Where you stretch the limits of your imagination, and technology can deliver on its promise. That's why we have created an intelligent edge infrastructure. Helping you create a network that is securing, connecting, learning, improving. Spotting patterns and making predictions. Delivering insights where they matter most. To empower business with a new world of possibilities. Ready for the future of whatever comes next. Wherever your edge is, we're there. Define your edge. Aruba. So as you saw from that video, the Intelligent Edge is an exciting place. Lots of new experiences that we've never seen before and of course lots of new business outcomes that really change what is possible over the next decade. This is what I believe the new normal is going to be about. Um, so what does it take to actualize the potential of this edge in all these locations that we are very familiar with? The workplaces, the stores, the factory floors, the stadiums, uh, hospitals. Uh, hotel rooms, hopefully one of these days we'll be visiting those as well. Uh, how do we now bring this all together and really generate those new business outcomes and new experiences? 
the old saying, what got us here won't get us there, has never been truer. Because until now, what we have built as technologists has been putting great amounts of computing power in the palm of our hands, connecting it over a network to applications that live deep inside the cloud. And of course, we have automated the cloud to a great degree. But the clouds are big centralized data centers. 